salvage is here. It seems like since 2018, you know, we've had different hints that salvage was coming at different points. And, you know, since they first mentioned it as a, a stretch goal in 2013, since the first salvage ship was sold in September or end of August, I, if I remember correctly, in 2014, that's when I bought my Reclaimer. Salvage is finally here. In the beginning of 2023, with the live release of 318, we will have salvage. And it will be the tier zero implementation, what you see here, hull stripping. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I like it. I, I honestly do like it. One of the things that I had kind of made provisions for recently is that this ship here, the Combine Harvester, a.k.a. the Vulture, the Drake Vulture, is a ship that I did not originally acquire because I was like, oh, well, I've got my own Salvager and the Reclaimer. Why do I need two? Now, of course, I do have my alternate account, which I've used for, you know, I've kind of set it up in such a way that Depending on what I choose to do in the Persistent Universe, it's set up in such a way that I can have access to everything whilst breaking the law on one account and not breaking the law on the other account, or vice versa. And this has been uh, kind of the, the way that I've moved forward with this. And I think what I've, I've, what I've kind of set up on the other account is that I'm going to test the idea of building a stealthy vulture which is to say I'm gonna take the vulture and try to make it as low sig as possible and kind of do some testing around the idea of can I get the vulture to the point where I can detect somebody on approach and who might be going out and looking for people who are salvaging and ev evade them or would it be better to just simply build a ship that's got the, the toughest shields possible and just be ready to run at any given moment? It's going to be some interesting questions around that. But overall, what do I think of salvaging in the hull stripping uh, line so far? Pretty interesting. The visuals are pretty good. Uh, I, I still feel like they're a little weird, but overall, I, I dig it. I actually really do dig it. I wish, of, well, of course you wish there was more, but for a, a primary or a first run at it, it seems pretty adequate. And in a way, I found it to be a little relaxing. Like a little bit of like uh, like meditation or something like that. It was it was a very chill thing to do. Now I'm not entirely opposed to these types of activities in video games, and in fact, one of the things that I often like to do in others is I will go out mining or whatever, finding herbs or doing whatever in whatever game that I'm playing whilst carrying on a conversation in Discord, and it. It's just this kind of like zen kind of laid back thing that I do that m makes my character more wealthy or whatever whilst, you know, still being mentally free enough to engage in a hopefully meaningful conversation. There are a few observations that I've made with the Vulture, one being because of the state of the PTU, oftentimes trying to exit the seat in the Vulture just results in uh, exiting the ship entirely. But I think this is just server frame rates and, you know, you, you tap the Y button to get out of the chair, but the server doesn't really recognize the tap, but it will recognize if you hold the Y button down. And I think that's the difference between just getting right out of the ship and out of the chair. So something that they something that should kind of correct itself once it goes into the live 
So that really isn't, I would say, a real complaint. A real complaint that I would have about the Vulture, flat out, is that the Vulture is a min-max crew of one. That is what it is listed as on the website. But as you can see here, you physically have to move the salvaged materials onto the cargo pad right you have to i i one thing i will say though i do really appreciate the grid snapping could be a little bit better but probably once again server frame rates but because the ship is a solo ship one bed you really are in a situation where you kind of have to take a single crew person and you have to take a single crew person vessel and turn it into a two-man ship because you want to have somebody back there efficiently putting all that stuff on the cargo pad whilst you're harvesting the hull. Now, you can harvest one, have it ejected automatically, and then harvest another and have it waiting to be ejected whilst you, you, know, while you go down. So you can really only have to step down into the ship to make that change every two boxes worth of salvaged goods but to make it the most efficient you would have to have two people but the ship is not designed to be operated by two people it's not designed to accommodate two people really and that's the real problem i would say with this conceptualization of how it works there should be like a little mini automated gantry over that cargo area just a little cargo arm or whatnot that just pulls these things out and just automatically stacks them. I say that as, of course, I am, you know, animatedly gesturing with my hands, even though you can't see it, and knocking over my drink, though, luckily, the lid was still on it. <laughs> but that w I think that that would make a little bit more sense. Um, but... If you want to do multi-crew, multi-crew obviously proving to be so strong in the Star Citizen universe right now. The idea of teaming up with other players being such a power multiplier that I think that to kind of come back and just say, oh, well, I think we need to change the vulture and make it, you know, have another bed or anything is kind of pointless. So obviously bring two people it's a little bit easier the only the only downside i really see to that is when you leave the cockpit that makes you a lot more vulnerable when you leave your ship obviously that has proven to be you know kind of one of the big um one of the big problems in star citizen and kind of the general format and delivery of the game which is the moment you leave your cockpit to go into the bunker or to go <clears throat> sorry just off the landing pad or anything like that you be you basically suffer from a situation where if anybody else comes up to you you are at such an incredible disadvantage and obviously ships like this are going to be hunted hence the idea of exploring the stealth options of the ship in the future but I was also kind of keyed up by the idea that um, you can strip a hull so long as the shields are down. That's interesting as well. If you think about it, let's say you're able to um, temporarily neutralize a ship with an EMP or something like that, having somebody who can come in and just immediately start stripping that hull and having that be a weapon in and of itself potentially is very interesting to me and it harkens back to some of the early videos and some of the early you know talks about the reclaimer that that would be that would be kind of fun having you know being able to neutralize a ship having the reclaimer be able to grab it with the claw and then just start hitting it with distortion weapons whilst stripping the armor off of its hull would be pretty damn cool. But yeah, just a little animated gantry crane in this room just stacking these would be... 
I don't think a terrible addition. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, as it is, I would say it's totally acceptable. It's 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 a it's a perhaps a deadly inconvenience, especially if you have to start arranging these things to kind of make use of the space and it's not the most uh, friendly environment for efficient use of space but you know it, it's all right it's it's okay remember it's just the starter and something like the reclaimer obviously you're probably going to want at least a crew of four to five people to have that ship kind of popping along and working quite efficiently but it might also be funny to see somebody try to attack that reclaimer and then perhaps suffer critical damage at the hands of its turrets and then to find themselves just being salvaged by the same ship they tried to kill that could be that could be pretty damn funny overall i'm i'm pleased i'm very pleased it's it's only tier zero right it's not the final implementation of salvage this isn't the salvage of components this isn't the complete dissection of the hull and i would actually argue that if you were like we have two lasers here we have a finer point salvaging laser and we have like a wide area laser i would say that the wide area laser should just remain the laser that is used to salvage large surfaces within the are uh, of the external hull whereas the more fine point lasers are used to actually cut into the ship and salvage the materials from within the ship and pro you know let's maybe explore the idea of pushing that forward to the reclaimer as well though once again i haven't gotten a chance to use the reclaimer for salvage because star citizen is just behaving like star citizen right now and it's not very conducive to you know it's 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 good for testing if it basically works but to actually use it and try to use it reliably eh, we'll have to wait and see but that's something I, I think would be interesting and worth exploring but once again we'll wait and see what CIG does overall pleased enjoying it fun possible combat potential here i want to explore but we'll have to wait and see and um also what is this salvage material going to be worth i've heard because i still haven't been able to sell this stuff yet because the server that i was on where you see me doing all the salvage it um it kicked me off outside of Erebus station before I was able to request a landing and um, land it and try to sell the materials. So I'm not too, too sure what the price is. I've heard it's com comparable to Quantanium, but I doubt that that is gonna continue in the, f in the future. I think that it's probably gonna be a lot more limited because just because of how easily you can get it but once again that could be a perception of the public test universe and they're just making wrecks everywhere so they want people to test this whereas it could be a lot more difficult to get hence the price is much more valid that could also be true so we'll have to wait and see i think it's interesting both as a profession and a weapon in its current state and i'm excited to see where this goes so we might be getting some very interesting reclaimer videos in the future anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video merry christmas happy holidays and see you when i get back thank you, thank you for watching so, so, so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in star citizen and squadron 42's development please follow please follow please follow us on our social media channels see you soon